Representative Engelman, does this apply to a fifth grader who has been a victim of incest? It, it does. With this amendment, is it true that I would have to carry that fetus to term? Is that true? Could you rephrase the question? Representative Engelman, does this apply to a fifth grader who has been a victim of incest? It, it does. But I think it's harmful to put a minor in the position of being the new Jane Roe. The weight of whether or not we allow lives to be ended should not rest on the traumatized shoulders of a young rape survivor. I imagine I'm uh, pregnant, I'm 17 weeks pregnant, and I've learned that the fetus has, is not thriving and has no chance of survival. Um, it's, is it true under this amendment that I would have to carry that pregnancy to term? Yes. Okay, a couple of more questions. So who will pay for the funeral um, after the delivery of a dead or dying infant? I, I presume you or a trustee. Okay, so we're foisting that expense upon the grieving um, would-be mother. Um, so uh, one more question. Um, do you have any guidance as to how I would talk to my family or my young children about what I'm experiencing as I'm going through extreme trauma leading up to um, an, a, a delivery of a dead infant that they're they're seeing me go through this pregnancy. Can you, can you imagine the trauma there? Do you think there's a, a way to handle that that's, that makes sense? Well, I would simply say this. I, I don't think any of us uh, are guaranteed tomorrow. All of us must accept uh, death as a consequence of life itself. And uh, that I would hope that you would uh, turn to your faith and, and your loved ones to help guide you through that and put faith and trust in uh, our Creator, the Almighty God.